Uh, all right, Advanced Farm Life. So we're gonna lay out uh, what all is going into this um, solar generator. And <clears throat> I've watched a ton of videos on this and everybody can get all of this stuff that I've got going on here crammed into a box about half of that size. Uh, that's not going to be me. Although it would be nice, I don't think it's going to work. So, uh, my batteries are these Ecoworthy. Uh, let's bring them out here in the sun. I don't want to set it up there. Ecoworthy 100 amp hour batteries. I'm going to put two of them in parallel. So that'll give me 200 amp hours. And I've got a uh, 2000 watt inverter. This is the remote. I'm going to have that hopefully somewhere in here so I can see it. Uh, I've got some perimeter lighting right here. I'm not going to use all of them, but I'm going to try to put them around the whole perimeter and maybe a couple in the back. Uh, I'm going to put in this is a USB 3 and 2 USB C um, connections. And this one's to uh, regular uh, USB. And then this one is just your uh, like cigarette lighter, so we can adapt to that too. Um, I got some switches, which will probably just be powering the lights. Um, I think these have its own power button there. Uh, and this one as well has its own power button. So um, I've got this is a uh, what I'm going to do. I got this right here. This is uh, an SAE connector. I'm not going to take it out of the bag. And it hooks into MC4. So I'm going to put one of these on the side to uh for my charge controller and then one of these i'm going to put in i've got a uh, battery charger i'm going to put one of these in that will hook to the battery so i can charge it if you know it's cloudy day sunny day we don't have any power for a while i can uh, then plug it in and charge it i've got this battery monitor which uh, my other one has a shunt so i'm not sure i gotta do some reading on this so something about Discharging our batteries to negative to empty and then recharging them So I'm gonna do some more research on that if I have to do that. I'm just gonna send it back and get shot one uh, I have two uh, well, I only need one, but I've got these power uh, Switches for the battery Although I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use this one because I wanted to have this basically sticking out like here so I could turn it on and off but I only wanted this, I only wanted the switch to show. So uh, I might have to get a different kind. Then I got my uh, 12 volt fuse box. This is a uh, 30 amp uh, charge controller. Um, I'm only gonna be using two 100 watt panels, so that'll be fine with that. Uh, I've got a 60 amp breaker. I got a uh, couple of 200, this is a 100 amp fuse, but I've got a couple of 200 amp fuses. I've got some uh, bus bars. i got two fans, but I don't know if I'm going to use these either because I thought they were temperature controlled. Uh, basically, they hook in together, two of them together. So if I do use these, I might have to put a switch on it so that I can just turn it on. And then uh, I have, these are my... Uh, AC outlets and the way I'm going to work this is this uh, inverter has three I'll turn this around it has, uh, it has four uh, outlets on it so I'm going to run those through here and I'm going to have the inverter on the top shelf here they'll just plug right in and then this thing has a where you can actually run another cord through here so it doesn't pinch it. And then I can plug that into the inverter if I want, or I can just take one of these plug boards and plug it directly into here and uh, 
use it for something else, lights, TV, uh, internet, who knows. So anyway, I got to get all that stuff into here. So anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started and uh, we'll come right back. So uh, the uh, what I did is I traced out, you know, you can, yeah, you can see it right there. Traced out this circle, which is the outside of this piece right here. And go by. And uh, now you got to find the center of a circle. And uh, this one's not that great. It's kind of hard to write in that one. I'm like, I know there's a way. I've done this a million times how to find the center of the circle. So basically, this circle here, the one you can barely see, is uh, like a two and three quarters inch diameter. So Half of that is inch and three eighths. So I set my uh, compass inch and three eighths. Basically, just put it on the line, make a line arc this way, go over to another part of the line, make an arc this way, and that should be the center right there. And when I put this on there, it's pretty darn close um, because I'm not drilling that big of a hole. I'm only drilling a inch and inch and three quarter hole so because uh, I don't want it to go too far above this one like this one barely fits in there you can see so uh, I just do these two like this and uh, we'll put these plugs in I'll, uh, I'll get these holes drilled and then I'll, I'll show you how they go in as you can see that one's not I moved that one a little bit so now that one got a little moved A lot thicker than I thought it was. All right, so we'll clean it all up, put those other plugs in, and uh, we'll keep moving on. All right, we'll see if this works. Don't knock the camera down. So you basically take the boot, run it down, and uh, kind of shove the boot down in there. So, line this up like you would your normal plug, like this, and then uh, you line this hole up with the hole in the outlet, and then we'll just screw them in. We'll see how that works out. All right, farm life out. All right, advanced farm life. So, like I said, you just get these holes lined up, and... take a look on the inside see what that looks like all right so these boots just slide on there like so like so the screws stick out a little bit but that's all right they're gonna kind of get covered up with this boot so and then these are just gonna plug right into the right into the inverter it's gonna be sitting right here somewhere right next to it so all right well that's in there good all right so i got one of these i got the uh cigarette lighter one in and i got that one in right there i'm gonna put a light in right there so i'm gonna put the next two right here and uh whoops next two right here one here one here and uh, they are lit up so somewhat like this one here only without the voltage that's got a voltage on it uh, so I'm gonna put one there one there I'm gonna put a light there I'm gonna put the uh, SAE adapter here and a light there so anyway let's go ahead and let's see if I don't knock the camera over and I'm just eyeballing this one I'm not
And I'm using, a, I believe, an inch and a half hole saw on these. Get pretty good. So this is the uh, just the two USBs. Go right in there, and then. Uh, that up a little bit try to center it a little bit it's decent let's tighten that up that'll go there that'll go there and then we'll do this one this is the USB-C thing looks pretty good right there all right and then that goes in there like so okay good we're getting there all right farm life out yeah all righty fans farm life so uh this is that sae uh, connector and I put it over on this side where the 110 outlets are uh, because this one is going to go to the uh, charge controller. And I don't want, I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to put a label charge controller on here. So I'm going to put another one on the other side that's going to go to for the battery charger if I have to charge these. So I don't want them to get them confused. I want them on opposite ends. And I think this location actually will work out better anyway. So uh, I'm going to go try to get some lights and uh, I'll come back. Alrighty, fans, I'm going to try to get tricky on this one, uh, but it didn't, uh, it'll work. I mean, it, it'll work. Uh, I probably should just put it over here like I did the other one. But uh, anyway, so that one's in, that'll be the battery charger. And uh, and uh, so I might be coming to a stopping point now. Um, so I got to figure out these bus bars and all that other stuff. So it's getting kind of late. And uh, so anyway, I think we're going to be done for the day. I might uh, catch up some of this tomorrow. Farm Life out. All right, it fans Farm Life. Okay, I got uh, two of these fans. And uh, they're supposed to be temperature controlled. I looked at uh, this little circuit board that comes with it. It's supposed to hit some switches for certain temperatures. So I'm going to put one of them right here. And then I'm going to put the other one on the opposite side. Right here. Made this a five inch hole, which is a little too big. This one, I made a four inch hole and it's perfect. So, um, anyway, we're just gonna make So, I got the fans up and running. This one is pulling air into the box. This air, this, this one here is pushing air out of the box. I can't see because it's dark down there. This was pushing air out uh, this little circuit board here there's a little switch on there a little button to push and that's what sets your here's your temperature probe right here temperature probe right there so that's what uh, I don't know there's some kind of code I got to go to there's no instructions with these fans whatsoever uh, I just kind of had to figure it out the fans are in, the fans work. I don't like that I made this too big. I'm going to do something with that. Uh, I could just cut pieces of that circle that I cut out and glue in there. Just because I don't like it. Uh, anyway, got the fans hooked up. Fans working. So we're going to move on to something else. Farm life out.